In this problem, we're told a commuter backs her car out of her garage with an acceleration of 1.4 meters per second squared. A, how long does it take her to reach a speed of 2 meters per second? And B, if she breaks to a stop in 0.8 seconds, what is her deceleration? So the first thing you always want to do is draw what's going on, right? So imagine this is her car in the beginning, right? She's at zero, and then she's going to back up, and she's going to accelerate at 1.4 meters per second squared, right? And then at some point, she's going to reach 2 meters per second, right? And then at that point, she's going to, uh, right, break for 0.8 seconds until her velocity becomes zero, right? And she's going to slow down to zero, right? Because when you break, go down to a stop. So let's just go ahead and start with the first part. So for the first part, we're trying to find how long does it take her to reach a speed of 2 meters per second. Right, so what we're looking at is this interval right here. And so what we want to do is write down the given kinematic variables for this variable. So these are the kinematic equations, and we want to write down uh, the variables that were given for this interval. So if we say this is the beginning, we know the initial velocity of the interval. Right, we know the initial velocity v sub 0 is 0 meters per second. Right, we know the rate at which she's going to be accelerating, 1.4 meters per second squared. And then we know the speed that we're trying to find her to reach. Right, so this is going to be the final velocity is 2 meters per second. Right? And what we're trying to solve for is the time, right? We're trying to find how long this is going to take, right? So t equals question mark because that's what we're solving for. So how do we find t given these variables? So we're going to use one of the kinematic, uh, kinematic equations. And if you look, uh, 2 through 4 all contain delta x, so we're not going to use those. But if you look at the top one, uh, v equals v sub 0 plus a times t, notice how we have v, or we have v, we have v sub 0 and we have a, so we can solve for the time it takes, right? So v is 2, which equals v sub 0, which is 0 plus a, which is 1.4, times t. So t is just going to be equal to 2 divided by 1.4. So you want to go ahead and do that. t divided by 1.4 is going to be 1.42. So t equals 1.428 and so on. Uh, you can just round to 1.4 seconds, however you want to do it. Right. So it's going to take 1.4 seconds right, for her to get to 2 meters per second. So this is your answer to a. Now let's move on to b. So for B, we're trying to find uh, the deceleration throughout this interval, right? So let's write it down our given again, but let's do it for this interval. So this is where she's in the beginning of the interval. So we know that she's starting the uh, interval at 2 meters per second. So the initial velocity is 2 meters per second, right? We know how long this interval is going to be. It's 0.8 seconds. And then we also know the final speed, right? Because she's going to a stop, meaning the final velocity is going to be equal to 0. So we can say V equals 0 meters per second. And what we're trying to do is solve for the deceleration, right? So we're solving for acceleration a. So we'll say a equals question mark. And so again, we're going to use the same exact equation, v equals v sub 0 plus a times t. But instead, we're going to be solving for a this time. So we know v is 0, which equals v sub 0, which is 2, plus the acceleration, which is what we're solving for, times t, which is 0.8. So it's just 0.8a. So we want a minus 2 from both sides. Minus 2 equals 0.8a, right? And just solve for a. So divide by. Uh, 0.8. So you want to just do minus 2 divided by 0.8. And when you do that, you're going to get a equals minus 2.5, and then the units are meters per second squared. Right? And keep in mind that it's negative, right? Because uh, she's slowing down, right? Negative indicates that we're slowing down. So her acceleration is negative 2.5, but she's going to decelerate at a rate of 2.5 meters per second. Right? So you can either specify that or just the minus sign, whatever your teacher wants. But yeah, so basically, that's going to be your answer. Right, so minus 2.5 meters second squared for B, and then A was 1.4 seconds. So these are your answers, and hopefully you found this useful.